What's up? Back to my video. This video is going to be a review of a nice app. It's called Documents. It's made by Savvy Soda. Pretty much what it is is it's notes with a little more structure and some added features. So what you get is you get info, Google upload, so that kind of syncs with Google Documents. So you're pretty much putting it on your computer, which is a really nice feature. Then you get your folders, and then you get new folder, new document. So inside this folder, you can see my more documents, another folder. And you press those little dots to get back. Um, so we'll go to well first. You get these little arrows blue arrows and you can save Google upload emails attachment move or cancel we'll just cancel it's the same with everything um, and then we'll go to new document you get text document spreadsheet and photo we'll go to text document first so what you have is you just get this white place this white whatever you want to call it um, so, if you press it, you get a keyboard. That keyboard can be um, portrait or landscape. And you can get typing pretty fast. Hello. Wasn't it, but. Okay, we'll just. In the file, save. Save as, discard, or cancel. We'll just discard this one. And a new document. You get spreadsheet. So it's just like in a Microsoft Excel. Um, we'll just put like, hello here. Done. And then down here you have menu bar. It's something they don't have on um, the text editor document. Okay, here you have copy, paste, bold, italicize, change the font color, make it red. Then you have changed the background color. We'll make it bluish purple. Then these two buttons, I do not know what they do. Then you have the formula button. Um, formulas, you just pretty much plug them in to do math equations. I'm sure a lot of you don't know what they are. I do. And it's really nice to have if you actually need to use them. So then once again, File, save, save as discard or cancel, or discard again. And the new document, photo. You get your photo album. Just pick a photo. How about this one? And then file. We'll save this one. It's untitled. To get a title, you have to do save as. Okay, so next we have new folder you can name that folder and you can save and cancel save or cancel um let's name this one movie and save and you can see that folder and say we want to do put this untitled in that folder so we're going to move it to the movie folder and now it's in the movie folder so you get a great structure with this app. Um, it's nice to get away from your homework from your computer when you need to type something. You're going to be typing a little slower, but you're, you'll still be typing. So that's really nice. And then the Google upload goes with Google Docs. I don't know if many of you know what that is, but it does work well. It's a great feature. So that's pretty much what this is. You get typing, spreadsheets, photos. You can upload it all to your computer, your folders and stuff. Well, it's it's 4.99, but don't let that scare you because in the App Store they have different apps. It's all like a portion of this one. Like here's d Documents. Um, it's 4.99, but here's Text Editor. It's just a portion of the Documents. And it's only a dollar. Here's Documents Free. Here is I Spreadsheet Free. Here's iSpreadsheet. 
So everything's a little cheaper than the next. Everything is a little cheaper than the documents, the whole thing. But it is nice if you want something, just type on a maybe a road trip. It's definitely worth getting if you want to use this for a long time. If you're just going to type a couple sentences, maybe you might want to email to yourself through notes. But I, st I still would recommend this app. I really like it. Um, and that Google Sync with Docs is really nice. You'll really use that a lot if you get this app. Um, so that's all I have, so thanks for watching.